Welcome everyone, my name is Carly Gotts and I am the Product and Marketing Manager for Botanica. Today I'm joined by celebrity gardener Simon Rickard, who is one of Botanica's most experienced botanical guides. Simon was head gardener of the Diggers Club and has, had a, has an incredible knowledge of plants and gardens around the world, which he loves to share with our guests. But today I wanted to talk to Simon about his garden, his beautiful garden, located in the cool climate region of the Macedon Ranges. So welcome, Simon, and tell Thank us you. about your beautiful garden um, in the, in the uh, Macedon Ranges. Sure. Well, my garden's very high in altitude. I live at about 700 metres above sea level. So even though I'm only an hour from Melbourne, it's a completely different climate up here. It was minus four degrees yesterday morning. Uh, I had We had snow last week. So, um, you know, even though we have good proximity to Melbourne, it really is a, a totally different climate, a cool climate, as you say. And I'm very much a plantsman, so I'm interested in using different kinds of plants from all different parts of the world and finding interesting ways to combine them um, uh, so that they uh, create scenes which are really exciting. You know, I like to be challenged by gardens and so I, I like to use plants from everywhere to try to do something original and new. So what do you love about cool climate gardens and gardening? I think that the thing I enjoy most about cool climate gardens is the, the sharply demarcated seasons. Um, you know, we, we, we get actually six seasons in this part of southern Victoria. Um, and the, the one season that we get really well is autumn. And so the gardens in these cool climate areas, uh, when the nights start to become crisp in April, the trees just colour up beautifully. And I think autumn is the most beautiful season in the garden. You know, we still get brilliant sun in the day, maybe foggy mornings, but all the trees just turn orange and yellow and red. So I think it's really the, the sharply demarcated seasons that make it interesting for me. And what are the challenges you find of gardening in the cool climate? Well, for, for me, the biggest challenge is late frost. As I said, I had a frost um, yesterday morning, uh, which is, you know, it's already September and I will have frost continuing into December. So you really need to be able to adapt, uh, find plants which are well adapted to having frost during that spring and early summer period. Um, and, you know, people often think that cold is, is a, uh, frost and cold are, are bad things in a garden, but to me, they're not. They're wonderful because it means I can grow a, a huge suite of plants which uh, gardeners in Melbourne can't grow because they don't have enough frost. So I see it really as a benefit rather than a, uh, a downside. Absolutely. And your photos on Instagram of the frosty mornings on the garden look absolutely beautiful as well. Thank you. And so what are some of your favourite cool climate gardens in Victoria? Um, Apart from well, your own. Oh, of course. <laughs> Look, well, I, of course, I love the Garden of St Earth, which is just down the road from where I live. And I was the head gardener there for eight years um, when I was at the Diggers Club. So I have a soft spot for the Garden of St Earth. I also particularly love Cloud Hill in the Dandenongs. And again, although that's very close to Melbourne, uh, it, just that little bit of altitude up in the Dandenong Ranges gives it a completely different character. But, you know, I was thinking about this question, Carly, which cold climate gardens do I like? And really, I was thinking, you know, I think like a lot of Australians, I, I've seen the rest of the world, but I've never travelled in my own backyard. And although I've lived in Victoria for 19 years, I've never been to Gippsland. I've never been to Mildura. I've never been to Beechworth. And I think oh. these are like, yeah, I know. Another place with wonderful autumn colour that you know very well. And I, I think, you know, this is, I, I hope Australians use this opportunity of this, uh, of not being able to travel internationally to see their own backyard. Because we all swear we will. We all, we all say, you know, oh, well, I'll, I'll see Australia anytime. And we never do it. So, yeah. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to discovering more cold climate gardens, is what I'm saying. Well, you need to come and visit in Beechworth sometime, show you some gardens. <laughs> <laughs> and um, which trips can uh, people travel on to visit your garden with Botanica in 2021? Yes, um, there are a couple of trips that people can visit my garden on. Uh, one is the Victorian Gardens and Sculptures in Autumn trip. And obviously that will be in the autumn time when the, all the trees are ablaze up here in the Central Islands. And um, the, the other trip is the uh, Murray River Gardens by Paddle Steamer. 
um, and I think that might be operating in spring and autumn from memory. Yeah, that's correct. Yep, spring and autumn. The opportunity to see my garden in, in two different seasons. So Victorian uh, Gardens and Sculptures and uh, Murray River by Paddle Steamer are two trips to be on if you want to visit my garden here in central Victoria. Fantastic. Thank you, Simon. Um, thank you for joining me. And if you would like to find out more about travelling with Simon or visiting Simon's garden in 2021, please visit our website at www.botanica.travel. Thanks, Simon. Thanks, Carly.